In spite of our complete silence, ever since we showed off the first prototype of what will be the systems in the LMG LAN Gaming Center, we have been hard at work in the background on the ultimate employee lounge, and it is going to be freaking awesome. Keyword being going to be. First, we have a lot of repetitive ass work to do, wiring up this place for electricity and networking. But there's a plus side. I brought back Brian to help. Hey guys. Remember the guy from the like uh, uh, electric car charger video with all the good jokes? <laughs> Which screws they're actually, bigger, Linus? They're actually slightly shorter, but not in a way that matters. <laughs> it's not as thick either, Linus. Well, they were jokes anyway. <laughs> They were something, Linus. You know what's no joke, though? Our sponsor for this video. Origin PC builds custom desktops and high-performance laptops with free lifetime 24-7 tech support, and they only use high-end components like Samsung's 970 EVO Pro M.2 SSD. Visit Origin PC today at the link below for a special promo. Okay, so um, why don't we do a haul video here? Sure. Like, is that is that a thing that they do in the electrician business? So this here is our big, oh my God. <laughs> you want me to hold that? No, I, got, I can hold it. <laughs> this is our big old spool of uh, electrical wiring. What, what What's this called? It's 14.3 Lumex. 14.3 Lumex, is that like the good shit? Um, it's the adequate. It's what you use for wood frame. It's what you generally. use for wood frame. Get, come on in closer, Pella, come on, check, check, this, check this stuff out. Long story short, our, uh, so, so you told them Cat 6A, right? Yes. Because all of our gaming systems are gonna be 10 gig, because we can. Um, and Brian says he specifically told the supplier Cat 6A, and they delivered Cat 5E. We called them, we're like, hey, yo, we need Cat 6A. They're like, yo, we don't have any of that, good luck. Oh, and we called a few other places, nobody has it. Really? I like, it's crazy. Well, I remember too, back when we ordered this spool, yeah. we had to get it from the States. We had to special order it. But the good news is, even though we didn't get the right wiring, we found this spool of Cat 6A. So it's a nightmare to work with, but that's okay because we're terminating into Keystone Jacks this time, so it should be a complete non-issue. And I found all the old runs from the old office that we used to have up in carabiners screwed into the ceiling, running from like the bottom floor up to the top floor. Finally, speaker wire. So we're gonna wire the whole place up for sound, not necessarily really knowing exactly what we're gonna install and when we would do it. Oh yeah, right, more cool stuff. Uh, electrical boxes. These are couplings for the conduit. Yeah. And then these are snap-in connectors. Bunch of light switches and whatnot. Yeah. Bunch of uh, terminations for our networking. Plugs. Plugs. And then we got this. What is this? That is just a really big junction box. We'll run a conduit or yeah. two out of the panel. Yeah. We'll run the conduit to this box yeah. up on the wall. And then from here, we'll break out to all the plugs and the lighting in the room. Okay, so basically the deal today is I'm your like, totally untrained apprentice. I'm your assistant. So whatever it is that we're gonna do, I'm gonna do some of it too. Sure. So why don't we start with mounting boxes? Sure. I noticed you brought a lot of drills. You know, we have drills here. Yes, but I like using my drills. Right, but you can't use four <laughs> drills at once. <laughs> well, they all have a different purpose. This is corded, so there's no batteries to kill for one. This is a regular drill, yeah. and then the other two are impacts. Okay, just compensating. So, why don't we grab that giant box of goodies? Okay, that's my job, right? I got it! Sure. Okay, I'm gonna oh, put it over here. This. Just following instructions, sir, yes sir. <sighs> How about I move the ladder? Is that an apprentice job? Sure. So. I got it! Sir, the ladder has been relocated, sir. <laughs> you're an apprentice, you're not in the military. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what do I need from this box? Two gang box? Two gang box. Single gang box. Single gang box, yeah. These holes are gangs then. Essentially, yeah, so how Got many it. devices you can run. Got it, yep. Then we just need screws and yep. a drill. Is this kind of like PC building where you just don't bother with all eight of them or like? It, yeah, if you used all eight, that is hugely overkill. So this is kind of eyeballed anyway, hey? Yeah. Ow. With a dead battery with apparently. With a dead battery. 
brings all the drills, brings no batteries. So basically, Brian's the kind of guy that's got the tool, but none of the stamina. No, no, I just have a day job that I use those every yeah, day. Yeah, you heard me, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that seems solid enough. I mounted a box. So now we need a data ring. Uh, oh, wow, it comes with screws already in it. They should all be like this. That's amazing. Actually, are they Robertson or Phillips, though? Phillips. Oh, bloody hell. Of course. Ow. Okay, <laughs> cool. So that's done. What now? Now we drill holes and pull wire. That sounds really fun. I don't know if I should trust you with this, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Uh, where do I put the hole? Okay. So we're gonna need one over here yeah, and one, one over here. here. And then same thing or, up there? There, yes. Yes, same up there. All the way up to the top, right? You could otherwise look. Ah, my eyes. I'll be back. <laughs> this is a really dull drill bit, Brian. Oh, wow. That's really. Damn it! Okay, I drilled one hole. Ow! Okay, just... Oh, you... I will need the tallest ladder because... Yes, you will. I have the shortest legs. Look, you don't get to tease me about it when I'm already owning it. That's the rules. Oh, God! I'm fine. I think we don't have a lot of clearance to work with. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, who's the assistant now, bitch? <laughs> This bit is zero out of 10 better. I actually wonder if we have sharper uh, spade bits. How's 5.8 um, sound? Fine. Okay, now what? Now we pull wire. Now we pull wire, yeah. hell yeah. These are gonna come across yep. and get stapled. Cool. But you see there's blocking, so we have to go above the blocking. Mm -hmm. Oh, you haven't showed your innovative little uh, spool holder here. <laughs> Brilliant. What? Well, no, I mean, it works. I don't think you're supposed to stand on that one. So then I just go over this doodad. Yeah. And pull enough that it doesn't fall. Yeah. As expected, this is truly very tedious. Yeah. I'm having fun so far, though. That's good. I'm electricianing. It's like adulting, but with electricity. And you want to leave a fair bit in the box? Yeah. Like how much? Uh, like that? Yep, that's fine. And now we staple. Okay, this looks more like a staple remover than a stapler. You're just gonna whack it with it, aren't you? Yeah. That's stupid. Why don't you use a hammer for that? Because I can do many things. With... Yeah, the thing is that not everyone's arms are that big. I'm pretty sure your forearms are bigger than my <laughs> biceps. <laughs> and then you want to staple what? Like every three or four feet or like? Shut up. It's a lot easier. Yeah, use the Shut floor. up. So there's a little bit of wiggle and that's okay. Yeah. I could really use a hammer. Well now that it's stapled all the way up, you need to staple it all the way across. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm getting a hammer. <laughs> I figured out why you gave me pliers. You don't have a hammer. What kind of man doesn't have a hammer in his toolkit? I'm pretty sure they take away your man card if you don't have a hammer. How's that hammer working for you, Linus? Better than the pliers would be, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so then what, I just need to put some holes here, 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 and here, and here? Yeah. We're actually gonna need a, a few holes through that top plate. So I should just put like a bunch of holes in it? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's less good. Oh man, okay, I need to cover that. I blame Jake. For those wondering, this is where six workstations, one CPU, ended up. It's folding right now, but uh, we're gonna have to put that on pause. Aren't you not supposed to do that, Linus? Do what? Reach way off a ladder. What's more dangerous? <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so is that fine? Yes. You hesitated. Okay, so what do I do now? You could drag Cat6 over for that data, Jack. Oh my God, shouldn't I have done that at the same time? Uh, yes and no, because it still needs to all be stapled separately. Right, but all the ladder movements. I suggested pulling it earlier. Oh, Brian! <laughs> You're supposed to save me from myself here. But it's far more entertaining not. So let's see if this is gonna work here. Is there, is there anything else I could be doing while I move this ladder here? Like, Jake has marked X's on the floor below where all the boxes go. 
Okay, how do I mount an octagon box? Enter the octagon! Same way that we mount the other box. Is this an octagon box? Yes, it is. That's bullshit because this is clearly a circle with two flattened sides. I got this, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't fall. No, I'm not gonna fall. Ow! And that's why you don't leave things on the top of a ladder, speaking of dropping. There's also a certain expected minimum level of common sense as well. Is there? Is there on the job site, Brian? Is there? Oh, I didn't do the octagon box. What? I didn't do the octagon. I'll do it while I'm stapling. I'll leave it here. <laughs> Are there any particular rules with respect to um, staples for data? Keep the distance about the same for neatness more than anything. The only real major things are you can't run it through the same hole as a power lead uh, because they're differing voltages. Okay. And the other thing too, being data. Yeah, you don't want AC power anywhere near it. Yeah, you get interference. Makes sense. That's why we're running down separate studs for these, I guess. Like I would straight up not be able to drive these in with that stupid pair of pliers. So I've got two ethernet runs done now. One for the access point that's gonna be up in the ceiling. So it is starting to come together, keyword being starting because there is a lot of work to do still. Here in Canada, this is the bond. It's either bare or it's green. There's actually a screw at the back of the enclosure. So we can take that, and wrap it around that screw, snug it down, and now this is bonded. Oh, so all the Europeans were concerned that we just don't care about safety, basically. That nothing was earthed, yeah. Yeah. So we call Here it in a Canada, bond. we have lots of earth, probably more than you, <laughs> unless you're in Russia. <laughs> do you want to actually install the plug? Let's find out if I know how to do this. So there's your strippers. Yep. Strippers <laughs> are on the floor. I didn't know you were bringing strippers to this whole uh, party here. So I should probably. No. Use the, I, 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 hold on. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the. Um, fine. Tell me. I make a point of not using the quick connect. Fine. I'll use the other one then. The reason being, I've actually seen those connections melted and the insulation on the wire melted a ways back. All right, so we're gonna do our green one. Yeah. So that's our earth wire. Bond, yeah. Wow, I suck at this. Ow, I poked myself. Who knew installing a plug would be so painful? Woo! One outlet done! What about the cover plate? What about the cover plate? We'll do that later. See, this is teenagers today. They come in to like help and literally sit on the floor and also, Rather than clear eight things off of a chair, they sit on the floor. I mean, how, do these, how are these people gonna find employment? All right, let's terminate some ethernet. I've only done this once. Other than that, every single other time, I've terminated to a jack. For these yeah. though, yes. you don't have to remember. It's oh, no right way! On the jack. It's right on there. That's a cool stripper. So then check this out. We've got this like gigantor um, separator. separator on the inside. And how much you do you untwist them? With terminations, yeah. for the specification, you're actually only supposed to have about a half inch of wire untwisted total. Really? Yes. That's it? That's it. Okay, I did not know that it was so little. So you literally want to keep these Yeah, I guess it's not a twisted pair right if you untwist the, the whole damn thing. Exactly. So I just hold it there, just kind of bend and untwist it to that point. Yeah. Then it's twisted literally right to where you're gonna punch it down. Beauty. So that's it, this is terminated. And then, oh, okay, there's a little, a little doodad that goes on. And that's it. Beautiful, right? Now just imagine the entire place with all of the wiring done. So we fast forwarded a little bit and a lot has actually changed. So Brian has finished up the vast majority of the wiring now, including electrical, ethernet, uh, speaker wiring, so we could go surround sound in here in the future if we wanted to, we'll see. Um, and we've actually got some painting done. So the rafters are now black, that's a black stain. It's gonna look homey, it's gonna look cozy. Um, all that's left now is to make sure that any of this actually works. So we need a patch cord, uh, conveniently there's one on the floor. <laughs> Sitting right there. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, wait. Are we gonna need another switch? Well, oh, ball. So we hook them all up. Are these labeled? Labeled? Uh, one is the arcade, two I think is the counter, three is the far corner. Well, why don't we go try? 
And we still have some left. That one is damaged halfway through. Oh. Oh, wow. So we're, That's we're, very yeah. damaged. Look yeah. at that. Okay. Do you want to go try uh, number four? And then I'm going to go double check in the server room that we actually are plugged into uh, this. Well, try swapping it back to four. You're into four. Oh. Hey! hey! All right. Let's see some internet browsage. There it is. Oh, I'm not allowed to watch that video. <laughs> no, okay, I have to leave now, but uh, let's make sure power works. So four is the TV. Yeah. So five will be the wi uh, wireless access point. Got it. So okay. if you hear the beeping, the plugs over there are on now. Oh. Oh, nice. So that's it. We've got power, we've got ethernet, and we've got, well, the conclusion of this video. FreshBooks is the small business accounting software that's custom built for how you want to work. So whether you're a small business owner or a freelancer, it's a simple way to be more productive, more organized, and perhaps most importantly, to get paid faster. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. And they've even got a feature that shows when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the back and forth. Oh, did you, did you send it? Sorry, I, uh, sorry, I haven't paid it yet. I didn't actually get that email, whatever. No, no, not with FreshBooks. Also, you can take the entire experience with you on the go with their fully featured apps for both Android and iOS. So for an unrestricted 30-day free trial, go to freshbooks.com slash tech tips. We're going to have that linked below and enter Linus Tech Tips in the How Did You Hear About Us section. So thank you guys for watching. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Yes, my friends, you can get your very own Brian on Amazon.com for just $9.99. Hey, now. Okay, a little more than that, a little more than that. <laughs> Is that all I'm worth, Linus? Come on. Also linked in the video descriptions, our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Hey, I didn't say if it was $999, or hundreds of dollars, or thousands of dollars. I guess. You're projecting. You're projecting your insecurity, Brian, and I simply won't have it. <laughs> You're an upstanding gentleman. <laughs> worth $999, <laughs> or something, something. Could be rubies. I'd...